Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to share some insights and you guys know I have been on this journey for 90 days to create 90 videos in 90 days and I'm at the end of it and I have uh, a few videos, <laughs> I have a lot of videos to get done. So I'm just like going through it because I said I was going to do it. I'm going to get 90 videos up and yeah, that's the way that's going to be by this certain date. So um, in this video though, I want to share some insight on uh like how my, like my sexual healing has been. I've been doing a lot of sexual healing lately um, and also just relationship healing, heart healing. However, I've been noticing that, you know, all energies are connected. And I have noticed with my sexual healing that I, even though my love language is touch, I love touch. That's the way that I get my cup filled up um working out fills me up or just like self-care being a bath taking a bubble bath or like stream bath or getting massages and taking care of myself in that way or even tanning um so that's been like my that's my love language and so with my husband it's sort of been just like throughout life like i've sort of just always equated like sex with love and I didn't start noticing that until later on when I started doing more inner healing and inner work. And I just noticed that the only way, or I thought anyway, the only way that I could receive love is by giving my body away and by having sex with men and doing it quick and fast so that they just would love me and give me the attention that I was wanting. And, um, and you know, that's sort of like, could be detrimental to the body. Um, and it's not healthy. If you're not healthy about it, if you're not safe about it, and I definitely was not being safe about it. Um, however, you know, thank, thank the Lord, <laughs> thank the universe that I'm where I'm at and I am healthy and um, I didn't get anything. And it's been a journey and it's like now it's not really equating, like I don't really equate sex to love. It's more so like the intimacy of it and even like just touch for my friends, like even just a hug or like a hand on the lap sometimes like really show or fills up my cup. However, and also loving myself enough to touch my body and to take care of my body the way that I need to take care of my body, like actually enjoying my body. And I've been noticing like, well, if I just like enjoy touching my body and stuff, because there was like times where I would have sex with men and they wouldn't touch me. Like they just would, they just wouldn't touch me. They would just go for, you know, just go for the hole. And that's just to get off. Like I was just like a tool for them to masturbate with versus something or some a person to be with. And I've been noticing the difference and, um, and so I really had to turn inward and sort of be like, well, you know, I was so shameful of even looking at myself or like touching myself or what have you. And I sort of had to like get to know my body more and what I like and actually be comfortable touching myself. Because if I'm comfortable touching myself, then maybe someone else would be comfortable touching me. And yeah, that's something I've been healing. And I feel like it's been working, <laughs> not to share too many details. However, um, just the people that I've been attracting more has been better and has been healing. And I feel like I still am in a good place. And also just like in the BDSM community here, there's like classes and stuff and teachings that have been healing for me, not saying that that's what you should go into. Um, however, it has been healing for me. Um, and just getting in tune with the touch more so and getting rid of like the sexual shame behind it, like how porn does. I don't feel like porn is very healthy, um, not healthy at all when you're doing any sort of healing, sexual healing. And it's really about getting back in tune with your body and loving your body the way that it is versus like seeing these images that's just not healthy for the brain at all. <laughs> it's an addiction, it can become an addiction. And I have been addicted to it before, um, especially with what I used to do back in college days. So um, that's what I have in this video. And if you know you are struggling with some sexual healing and you want some guidance, please feel free to DM me. Maybe we can do some coaching sessions together or well, you can do a psychic session with you. So that's what I have for now. Bye.